moving day. Leaving Bangkok for Pattaya. Okay, there's our grab ride. Right is about half an hour from our hotel to the bus station. Uh, we're using Grab or taxi. Uh, eight bucks for half an hour ride. <laughs> and that's actually higher than normal because this is kind of like traffic time and uh, and we're in Bangkok. So the rate is a little bit higher than when we were in Phuket. So when we get to Pattaya, uh, it'll be even less. So very affordable. And then, like I said, uh, we're going to try using their bus to go to Pattaya. Uh, that ride is supposed to be about two and a half hours. That will be our first experience using the bus to go somewhere. Well, we made it on the bus. We got to the station and right away, this guy next to me, the driver, I didn't know he was the driver, he was behind the kiosk. He, he goes, Bali Bali. <laughs> we thought he was speaking Korean. Maybe he was. So he said, leave now, leave now. So I said, okay, let's go. This wasn't the bus that I was picturing, but here we are, no waiting. We got on the bus. I got a, I got a seat at the very front. And there she is, behind me. And right above me are two uh, vents for the AC. So I'm golden. And this is, this is the bus we're taking. We got two and a half hours. It's comfortable though. It's a small bus. I was picturing the the big tour tour size bus, but I got the front seat. <laughs> I got the AC vent on top of me. Super comfortable. Here we go. Our experience of bus ride in Thailand. One of the major benefits of taking the bus is, of course, you get to see more of the countryside, you get to see more of the place you're visiting. So this completes all the means of transportation that we've used so far. How about that? We got some rain, our second one. This rain only lasted about 20 minutes though. So we've used planes, trains, automobiles, scooters, and boats. We're in Pattaya, we got dropped off, and catch another grab. There's our grab. This is where we're staying for the next three nights. Very nice, luxurious, comfortable again, very modern. The pool wraps around the whole building. You won't believe how much this room costs. $28 a night. Room like this with the facilities that they have would be 300 or more per night. We are at our new pad. Yeah, somebody is already making herself comfortable. TV in the living room. Very cozy, very comfortable. TV in the bedroom. What more can you ask? Nice bathroom, nice shower. Got a balcony.
Look at this view. This pool goes on forever. Wraps around the building. There are a total of six buildings with a lake pool connected by bridges. And if you notice, there are four additional separate pools on each corners. And this location is only about maybe half a mile to the beach. Very accessible. I've decided to use a video presentation from YouTube to show us more about Pattaya. Recommended things to do in Pattaya that will make your trip unforgettable. Sanctuary of Truth. The Sanctuary of Truth is a wooden temple located in Pattaya, Thailand. It is an enormous structure built entirely of wood and decorated with intricate carvings and sculptures. The temple's architecture and decorations are meant to depict the teachings of Buddhism, Hinduism, and other Eastern religions, and to emphasize the importance of truth and morality in daily life. It was built to withstand the elements for 1,000 years and is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Thailand. Giant Buddha Engraving at Khao Shai Chan The Giant Buddha Engraving at Khao Shai Chan is a large image of Buddha carved into the side of a cliff in Chonburi, Thailand. It is one of the largest Buddhist images in the world and was created by using laser technology to carve the image into the cliff face. The image is 130 meters wide and 70 meters tall and depicts the Buddha in a seated position. The giant Buddha engraving at Khao Shai Chan is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors who come to admire the impressive size and intricate details of the image. It is considered a significant symbol of Thai Buddhism and is often visited by Buddhists on pilgrimage. Nanuch Pattaya Garden and Resort Nang Munch is a village in Pattaya, inside which there is a park called Tropical Botanical Garden. Inside this garden, you will find colorful flowers of all kinds. This is like a nature lover's dream. The garden has taken inspiration from 17th century French gardens and other heritages, giving it a very grand and classy look. You can take a breezy walk and observe all the different types of tropical plants and trees. There's also a garden full of life-size replicas of dinosaurs. Additionally, there are other family activities inside the park as well, such as traditional performances at the Thai Cultural situated inside Nong Nooch. These traditional performances include dances, sword fighting, kickboxing, and even performances with animals like elephants. This is particularly enjoyable if you have kids, which is why it is perfect for families. In case you get tired of walking around, you rent bicycles or use the local transport available inside the park. Jom Tien Beach The Jom Tien Beach is spread over 6 km and serves as a way to relax from the chaotic central area of the city. You can cool down at the beach and enjoy the soothing sounds of the waves crashing. Or if you want to get involved in activities, there are a bunch of options available. These include parasailing, surfing, jet skiing, and so much more. Once you are done with all the fun stuff, you might feel tired. There are cafes and restaurants available all along the beach where you can snack up and enjoy the rest of the night. Walking Street The third place we have on our list is the Walking Street. This might seem like a normal street, but you won't find anything like this in the whole of Thailand. Basically, after 6 p.m., all vehicles including cars and bikes are not allowed here. It becomes strictly for pedestrians only. There are many bars and nightclubs located, which are perfect if you want to party all night. Additionally, there are restaurants and some shops as well for shopping around. Just remember that there is no use in going here during the day since it serves like a normal street. However, at night, all the neon signs get turned on and there is music in the background. If you are traveling with a group of friends, you will enjoy this street a lot. Floating Market Next up on our list, we have the Pattaya Floating Market. You might be confused by the word floating market. Well, to put it simply, you will be able to look at different buildings and stalls while traveling on a boat. How cool is that? Thailand has a few floating markets, but the one in Pattaya particularly stands out because of the gorgeous buildings inspired by Thai heritages. You will get dropped off at the entrance after which you will get on the boat. Along the ride, there will be locals selling tourist souvenirs and merchandise of all kinds. There are even dancing performances and boxing demonstrations along with the stalls. It will be a memorable experience that you will never forget. After all, there aren't many places that offer floating markets. Additionally, at the end of your boating ride, you can go to the spas there and get massages. The fifth place on our list is the Big Buddha Statue also known as Wat Phraya. It is situated south of Pattaya at Pratamak Hill. This is the biggest Buddha statue in the world as it is 18 meters tall 
and 100 meters above the sea. It rests on top of the hill and is completely gold in color. It looks unreal. You can climb the stairs all the way to the top and see the statue up close. There are a few smaller statues around it as well. This golden statue is pretty popular amongst locals that visit it to pray for hope and well-being. As a tourist, you can also visit it and see the locals there. Not only you will see the statues and observe the scenery around you. In case you are too tired to walk up the steep stairs, you can take a taxi which will take you to the top directly. Kolarn Another very famous tourist attraction is the coral island named Kolarn. It is approximately 30 minutes away from Pattaya. You can either take a ferry ride or use the boating services there. Pattaya is filled with tourists so this can serve as a small getaway from all the rush. There are several beaches on this island with all sorts of facilities available. Each beach is unique on its own as there are different types of restaurants and stalls for the public to enjoy. Boat rides are going back to after a few hours. But if you wish to stay overnight, you can book a resort or a hotel room at Samai or Tawan. There is also an option for underwater sea walking, where you can see colorful marine life. Moreover, you can take bikes for rent and go around the islands. Art in Paradise Art in Paradise is an art museum, but not a regular one. It has illusion art where you can blend into the artwork or pose with it. It's the perfect place to take Instagram photos and share them with your friends and family. There are things like rhinos, eagles, and whales. Due to the 3D nature of the art, it looks very realistic. There are different themes around the museum, some of which include Egyptian art, dinosaurs, fantasy, marine life, and so much more. You won't find fun places like these every day. Well done video, don't you think? And we've got 10 days, 9 nights in total to discover and experience Pattaya. We'll be moving every 3 nights to new accommodations just to add to the experience. 